All right, guys, welcome back to the Hearts Football Manager 2022 Career Mode. Today is the day we finally get our Europa League group stage competitive action underway. I cannot wait for us to dive into this group. It's a star-studded group, but we've still got hopes and ambitions of getting out of it. Our first game will be travelling away to Serbia, where you know we're going to be having a hostile environment we're going to go there we're probably going to get hated we'll probably be attacked with sticks and stones and bricks and all sorts of fucking things serbia is a mad place a bit of a shithole but a mad place nonetheless we need to go there we need to show red star no respect because that's what we'll be giving guys absolutely no respect and hopefully get a result and bring it back and uh, kick off the campaign with at least a point but before we can do that up next we've got dundee we're trying to climb the league table after five games. We've got six points. It's not where we want to be with only one win. But I'm hoping that we can change it today. A win could see us go as high as, realistically, it's only going to see us move up one spot. Hibs have got four plus in the goal difference. We've got minus one. So, realistically, we ain't going to go any higher than that. But Hibs have lost the last three. It's not good for them. They started well, but at the moment, it's looking good for one team. And that's Rangers. Six wins out of six. Things are going well for them. Uh, we're, we're, well, we're, we're well off the pace here, we're 12 points behind, albeit we do have this game in hand. Mikey Devlin, though, I think we'll be coming out for this one. We can probably get someone back in there. Who can we get in there? Who can, I think we'll stick Balogun in there. We'll go for Balogun. Although, but apparently Balogun can't play. Tell me why. Because he's injured. Right, so we're going to bring in Gordon, Suter, Halkett, Moore, Kingsley, Smith, Devlin, Benny, Chapman, Woodburn and Lorente. That's going to be the team that will hopefully get us the win here at Tencast. So we should be beating Dundee, so let's go and take care of them right now. And then we are off in this 3 o'clock, I believe it's a 3 o'clock Sunday kickoff in the Scottish Premiership. Uh, four games in action today, we've got Dundee United, Inverness, Livingston, Aberdeen, Ross County, St Johnston. And obviously ourselves against Dundee. We'll be hoping to move up above Livingston after this round of fixtures. We could possibly move down the league table if things don't go our way, but we're not even anticipating that at the moment. That is the last thing on my mind. The only way is up, and that is the direction I intend to take the team. It's not been a great start to the season. I've come out and I've admitted it, but we've still got a lot of time to turn it around. But I am disappointed to be so far off the, the league leaders at the moment, Rangers, but in fairness, Rangers have started really well. Six wins for six. Not a lot we could do about that at the moment. And speaking of not a lot, not a lot happening here in this match against Dundee. In a pretty quiet opening uh, 18 minutes. And it may, oh, it looks like Harry Chapman has pulled up a bit of an injury. So I think he may be coming off here. Dundee United have taken the lead. It's Niskanen firing them ahead in the 19th minute against a newly promoted Inverness. And it's not looking good for Inverness. They're the only team not to pick up a point so far. In the Scottish Premiership. And I've got a feeling they could be going right back down to the Championship. Aberdeen have taken the lead against Livingston. That, move, that sees us move above Livingston. But due to Dundee United winning, we, we don't move it. We drop a place anyway. So nothing changes. We go above Livingston but drop below Dundee United. So we're stuck in seventh place. But uh, yeah, only two goals at the moment. Dundee United and Aberdeen. Are we going to make the change? We might. If Harry Chapman's got the injury, then we'll probably look to make the change. We'll, we'll just bring on Josh Ginelli, I feel like. And uh, hopefully Ginelli can come on. Let's give the team talk to Ginelli here. Uh, I'm expecting you to show up and perform today. You can you can do this, guy. You Come on, Ginelli. You've got a chance here. You've almost got a full hour. You can uh, show that maybe you should be in our starting 11. Uh, Celtic then will drop. Holy shit, Ross County have taken the league against Johnson Celtic at the moment and dropping down to fourth place. Albeit game in hand, so they won't be panicking too much, but uh, that would not be ideal for them. Aberdeen, thanks to Ryan Hedges, has taken a uh, double their lead, actually, should I say, against Livingston. So uh, it's going well for the Sheep. And our game is the only game with no goals so far today. So yeah, not too impressed here. Hearts still 0 0 with Dundee. Where's all the goals? Where's all the chances? Where's all the opportunities? At the moment, they haven't really happened, and it could be half time here. Uh, looks like, yeah, that's terrible. That's a fucking shit show of a first half here. Let's, uh, let me just see. Thrash arms. This is, that isn't good enough, and it's not good enough, and it seemed to have motivated the players, which is good. In the second half, I think we're going to go attacking more, and uh, we'll see if we can do something, but yeah, at the moment. Not the greatest 
<laughs> not the greatest performance in that opening half. Definitely expected us to be better than we were. And it was disappointing, actually, because I just expect more from us, and we haven't really delivered it at the moment. We're going to go more direct. We're going to slightly up the tempo as we try and push. Uh, Inverness, two quick goals. I was not expecting that, but two goals after half time. McGregor and Martin and Inverness, Cali Fissel, have the lead against Dundee United and actually move out of the relegation zone, at least to move up to the playoff relegation zone, currently sitting in 11th now. Here we go, though. Ginelli. Ginelli goes past his man. It's good play there for Ginelli. It's Ginelli. It's still Josh Ginelli. Oh, and he forces the save after the goalie, but that was great from Ginelli. Fantastic from him. And uh, we, maybe that little team talk worked there because it seemed to he seemed to do the business. Kingsley whips in the corner. It's headed away by McGee. And it will still be 0-0, but at least we've seen something there. Glimpse. Glimpses of a chance. Glimpses of us being able to take the lead, but at the moment still not happening. Let's go ahead. We need, I think we need to demand more now. We need more for the players, and I feel like we could be seeing a substitution coming soon. I'm not happy with especially. I mean, Laurenti, you could argue he's not... You could argue that he's, you know, not had the service, but it's it's not been great for him, to be fair, and I think he may be coming off. I'm tempted to bring on the new signing, Aaron Presley, but or do we go with, with do we go with Boyce? I'm actually going to bring on Presley. He seems to be a bit sharper. I'm going to bring him on and see if he can do something. Fuck knows what he can do, but we're going to see. Uh, we'll play him as... We'll just play him in the same role, deep line forward. And will we make one more sub, or do we just leave things as they are? Cameron Devlin's on a yellow card, so I think we'll bring on Dominic Ball. I don't want to risk getting... Going down to 10 men, that would not be a good idea. That would not be a good plan to try and win this match. But we've made our subs now. And we're just going to have to kind of go with it, guys. There's not a lot else we can do. Not many attacking options on the bench, to be fair. Maybe we could be looking at another signing. We did loan out Nathan Holland. Perhaps that was a mistake. Although we do expect Barry McKay to be back within the next week. So we will have options. And he's a, he's a very good option based on how he was doing last season, guys. He is an option uh, I'm looking forward to using. But let's see if we can just hit early crosses now. Maybe we should have hit the early crosses with Lorente up front, though. That could be, uh, that should have maybe been the plan. Dundee United have equalised. It's 2 2 now in that game. Charlie Mulgrew getting up there in age, but still a solid player. Still delivering. He's delivering for his club here. He's got Dundee United level in that game at Tanadice, but not a lot happening here. Livingston pull one back. It's now Aberdeen 2, Livingston 1. Uh, let's see if we can. <sighs> Fuck me. Come on, guys. Let's berate them. We need something to happen. Um. I'm going to go into the tactics here and just change it up because at the moment this is not it's not what we came here to do, guys. We came here to fucking win. And at the moment we ain't winning. We ain't doing nothing. Let's see if we can move. We're going to move. Do we, do? we might play Suter up front. Who would be better up front, Suter or Halkett? You know, I think we're going to play John Suter up front. Although Halkett, I feel like he's got more chance to score. I think Halkett's slightly better in the air. I'm going to play Craig Halkett up front. We're going to go for this, guys, and uh, we just don't have that many other options. So that's what's going to happen. Craig Halkett will play here, and we'll play him as a, a target forward. There we go. A target forward on attack. And uh, let's see if we can try and rescue a win here with just 11 minutes to go now. Not a lot of time. It's Benny to Woodburn. Woodburn gets a bit of space. McGee with a good challenge, and it had to be because he's on a yellow card. If he mistimed that, he was fucked. Sent off, big time. And Suter's just let Kilty get through. It's John Suter with a big mistake at the back. It's Greg Kilty, though, and he's going away for goal. Why has he done that? It's Brown, back to Kilty. They feel like the chance could be gone, and it is now. Marcus Brown just launches that one well over the bar there. Not good from Dundee United, or Dundee even. Uh, it's not good from us. Dundee United, though, speaking of them, they have taken the lead. It's 3-2 now. Dundee United lead against Inverness at Cali Fissel, but uh, this has probably been the, one of the worst games I think we've played here. It's been very lacklustre, and I don't see much happening. I honestly, we'll, we'll, we'll up the tempo more. We'll just go by direct. We're going to go route one football at this time. Overlap down the right. Let's see if we can try and do something here. Uh, we're trying. Let's get the attacking with as well. But, uh, yeah, we'll try and get wide and just launch balls into the box. That's pretty much... I think the only thing I can think of here, Halka up front, the big man. Yeah, we know Halka's playing out of position, but 
We need a goal, so that's why he's up there. We're desperate. And it doesn't look like we're going to get one. Aberdeen lose Ferguson 3 1 up now. That secures all three points for them. But with two minutes added on here, it doesn't look like we're going to get three points. Still time. Still referee still playing, but. And then he blows the whistle, and that is it, guys. We have lost here at Tyne Castle. And this was not the right preparation going into our Europa League game. Was it hell? No. We should have done better here. Defensively, we were good. We were solid. But again, up front, man, it wasn't. It wasn't the performance that... Nah, man. Yeah, it was a dismal showing, guys. Training the more big time. That is poor. That is very poor. Uh, I expected us to do better <laughs> than we did. Uh, yeah, there's no there's no excuse for that, man. We were we were pretty poor today. And uh, I honestly, I can't say we deserve to win the game. I can't say, say that we missed a load of chances or that you know Dundee's keeper played great or anything like that because it's, that would be a lie. I just don't think we're that good. Chapman will be out for one to three days. He will be back after that, though, which is good. Craig Halkett got player of the match, even though we stuck him up front, couldn't find a goal, but in defence he was good. And, yeah, I mean, Craig Halkett, solid player, someone that I will be looking to try and keep at the club for a long, long time. But uh, let's just move on. There's nothing we can do now. We'll drop more points in the league. It keeps us seventh in the league. I'm disappointed, but, again, there's just not a lot you can do. Ali McCann, like, yeah, I was signing whatever the price. He's a player that I have been looking at. Um, so I think it's unrealistic though that we're going to be bringing them in. I would love Ali McCann in, but it's probably not going to happen. Stephen Omonga there from Livingston, perhaps a signing. But yeah, maybe we need signings, guys. After that game, it maybe open my eyes up here. Maybe, maybe this team is not good enough, considering we're going to be in all these competitions. We're in Europe. We're in cups. You know, we're in the league. Uh, maybe loaning out Nathan Holland was the wrong thing to do because we may, we may need him. Because, um, yeah, the options aren't great, guys. But I'm hoping that we'll have Barry McKay back for the game against uh, Red Star Belgrade. Got a few days off, though, between then. So we're going to have rest, let the players relax. And uh, we'll be flying out to Serbia and hopefully getting a result. So here's a quick preview, then, ahead of our game against Red Star Belgrade in Serbia. In terms of team news, Red Star Belgrade have no real selection problems going into the game. So lucky for them, lucky bastards, they have an absolute clean bill of health of players to choose from. Unlike us, we will definitely be without Liam Balligan, who's a broken wrist. Barry McKay, torn Lee Nigaments, Fernando and Fernando Lorente with a pulled groin. I also think Cameron Devlin will be missing this match too. So there is four crucial players missing this game for us. It's not what we wanted, not what we needed. We're unbeaten in a while. It's been a while since we lost, even though we're not picking up wins every game. We aren't losing, which is good. The only time we've lost this season competitively was the game against Hibs. So from that standpoint, we're doing well. Red, Bar Red Star Belgrade have won four out of the last five, but there is a defeat in between those games. So hopefully we can take it to them. They are 11-8, to eight, slightly the favourites with whoscored.com. But I think you would expect that. I mean, the bigger team... Uh, maybe not. Bigger team, I don't know. Better team, perhaps. Bigger team, maybe not. And they do have the home advantage. I think home advantage definitely means more when you go to hostile environments, hostile locations like uh, Serbia. So, uh, yeah, I'm expecting a tough game. Boogies are expecting a tough game. Hopefully, we can get a result, though. All right, guys, so here we go, then. Ready for the game against Red Star Belgrade. They've got a shitload of injuries and fitness problems, like we already discussed. But Mikey Devlin will not make it. Cameron Devlin will not make it. Balligan's still out injured. Barry Mackay and Lorente are both at least another couple of days away from being able to play. So there's five big players missing. We've had to put quite a few players in from the under-18s, under-21 squad. We've got Watson in there, Thompson, uh, Charleston King as well. So pretty much <laughs> pretty much uh, going in here with a lot of the, the team that we would want. And it's, it's going to be tough, but I'm hoping that we can get the result that we want, which is obviously a win. But if we can get a draw, then I would definitely take that too. Uh, we're just going to line up with the 5-2-3. And I was potentially thinking about... I don't know, I was thinking about maybe doing something different with, with two up front. But uh, I don't think we're going to commit to that. I think we're just going to stick with, with what we've got here, guys. So, uh, yeah, this is it. Here we go. Looking forward to this game. We need a big performance from our key players. It absolutely got it that Lorente is missing this. Um, I think he'd have been a massive help. Ryan Thompson he gets a number because he's playing. We'll give him number 29. Why not? 29 works for me. Does it work for you, Ryan? Hopefully it does. And who knows? He actually could be featuring in this game. Just due to the amount of injuries, he might actually get a bit of action here. So a lot of Hearts players 
that probably didn't think they'd be anywhere near first-team football, let alone getting any European action. Uh, looks like things have changed just due to the um, the the squad availability. So, uh, Filippo Falcao is in there. Apparently, he's our main man. He's the guy that we should be watching for, so we'll find out if that's true or not. Um, let's see here. I want to be impressed today. Go and put a show, guys. Yes, let's not lay down. Let's go out and make a statement. I know it's the first game. Uh, let's go out and play how we... And let's get the results. We intend to get through it, the whole group and avoid a defeat here. I, I would take the draw right now. I know that could be considered negative, but I'm just being realistic. I would take the draw right now. Although you feel like we sent it in the group. You feel like if we are going to try and get through Red Star, Belgrade and Astana are the two teams that we're going to have to finish above. I would. You would think that Senate would probably come out of this group on top and the rest of us can try and battle for that second place. But uh, we don't know. Stranger things have happened. But we're eight minutes in and not a lot's happening, to be fair. We say stranger things have happened. At the moment, not a lot is happening. And still, nil-nil with one shot apiece. So we'll just have to be patient, I guess. At the moment, though, the game's pretty much going how we would like it to go. The longer it goes with nothing happening, the better for me. I'm not <laughs> I'm not pushing for anything to happen. But it's through Red Star, and I don't know how they've cleared that there, but we have. That's great defending. Honestly, I don't know how we got the ball there, but Moore in the end clears it. And it, uh, I thought Red Star were through. Thankfully not, though. Martinovic with the throw-in. Plays it to Falco. Falco back to Dragonovic. It's Nikolic. Jeftic. Are coming forward now, Red Star Belgrade. Falco. Through to Lulic, Suter is there, and Moore passed it back to Craig Gordon. And we take care of that one, guys. So at the moment, 15 minutes in, we're, we're doing no bad. Passing about here at the back, a little bit nervy here. Let's not give it away, guys. This would be an absolute shit show if we passed it away for here. It prefers to get the ball up, and we do with Kingsley. He tried to find Boyce, but... Ah, uh, Boyce, not... Oh, no. It's through to Lulic. And just like that, Fladiki, Fladika Lulic has scored the opening goal when where was the defence there? Where was the defence? He played clean through and we almost allowed it. <sighs> Long ball up, boys couldn't do anything with it. And then they went on the attack, loft it through ball over and Red Star Belgrade do have the lead in this match. And uh, I'm just hoping it's all about how we perform here. It's all about how we respond to going to go behind. I'm going to... Let's, let's encourage the team. Come on, guys. We're 1-0 down, but it's not the end of the world. Let's try and keep it at 1-0, and we can find a way back into this game. Let's not go any further behind, though. Alexander Kolarov, though, has put Senate since Petersburg 1-0 up against Astana. Probably expected that scoreline. That's not really a surprise. And uh, Kolarov then gives Senate the lead in that one. At the moment, we're sitting fourth. Or should I say joint third with Astana? Um, yeah, I'll just... Having to hold on here and see what happens. At the moment, not a lot happening. That one goal for Red Star Belgrade is the difference, but uh, it's not been pretty. Here we go, Falco with the corner kick. It's whipped in and it's headed in. It's Thomas Hutiox with a goal. It's his first goal of the season. And this is, this is not good, guys. It's not a good sign. We're 35 minutes in here and we are trailing by two goals to nil. Senate since Petersburg have also got a second. Astana, I've just quickly pulled one back. So Astana then 2 1 in that. Uh, let me see here. Let's see if we can demand more for the team because at the moment, what we're seeing isn't good enough. Although we are missing key players, so let's be real. We've got to be honest with ourselves, guys. We've come into this game, we're, we're missing some big name players. But overall, I would probably expect more from the team that we put out. And it's not happening at the moment. It looks like we're going to go into the break 2-0. 2-0, it's, it's a scoreline I feel like we can work with. If, if we lose the next goal, it, it's 100% all over. Uh, we will ch we're going to change stuff. We're going to go to positive in the second half. Um, You know, we're not, going, we're not going to try and play football, you know. Let's just get, let's just up the tempo. Well, let's get more direct. This is how I want to go here. More, more direct and just up the tempo. But we've tried sitting back and slowing the pace of the game down. It hasn't really worked, so we're just going to in the second half, go more direct, up the tempo, try and take it to this team. We're going to look for the early crosses. Um, we're going to get wide, and we're going to try and overlap. 
And uh, yeah, so let's do it. We may actually put Smith and Kingsley on attack as well. I mean, we may as well just go for it. I don't think goal difference is really going to be a massive thing, if I'm being honest. I mean, I would rather go for it than sit back and kind of just accept a, you know, a defeat. Um, we're not going to win if we don't shoot. It's been a really disappointing watch. It has been a disappointing watch. It's been really poor here. It's not how I expected our first uh, game in uh, the Europa League to go. But we're going to get Michael Smith on attack. We're going to get Kingsley on attack. We could, we could go with two up front. But for now, I, I feel like I'll just leave it for now. I don't want to make <laughs> drastic changes here. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens in the second half then, guys. And who knows, we might look, we've got Presley on the bench. So, we, so at some stage, we might look at moving two up front. But for now, we'll just stick with the formation that we've got. It's Nikolic coming forward. We need to try and get the ball off him. But he's went back. And uh, Red Star Belgrade at the moment just having fun here. They're having it all their own way. Lulic has gone past the Hearts defence. Oh no, he's played our ball in. And it's Craig Gordon with the save. I mean, it's a decent save for Craig Gordon, but I feel like the attacker there should be burying that. I'm glad he hasn't, though. He's kept us in it. If it goes, if it's 3-0, then you know we're beat. It's it's uh, it's all over. If we go 3-0, there's no way back from that. But, uh, yeah, only two shots so far in this entire game, and that is that is tough to take. That's very tough to take. I may actually look to change things up here. Um, let's see. What do we do? Do we go two up front? Do we go with this formation here? We could potentially do that. And then... Um, yeah, we could do that and then move two players up there. This is... Uh, th this could be a mistake. But I feel like it's something that I need to risk. We, we do need to risk it, because at the moment, it's, it's not really happening, guys. So once we're going to risk it, we're going to play Benny in there. Ball in the midfield role. And who can come on? Who can come on for Dominic Ball? Who's going to come on for Dominic Ball at the moment? It doesn't look like anybody here is really that suited to uh, playing that position. What about Josh Ginelli? And Josh Ginelli, we could switch with Woodburn. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to bring Josh Ginelli on. We're going to bring on Aaron Presley and give him a chance and see how he gets on pressing forward. Right, guys, here we go. This is it. Um, we're going to get we're going to get the uh, fullbacks on attack as well. Kingsley and Michael Smith both going for it. We're just going to commit men forward here. If, if this doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I feel like we need to try something or else uh, this game is, is slipping away from us. So, yeah, here we go. Big change being made. And let's see if we can get it. If we can get the win. With half an hour to go. Still, doesn't look like those changes have made much impact. Uh, let's see if we can shout. Shout something, I don't know. Throw bricks at the players. Uh, maybe that's what happens in Serbia. Maybe that's how you get them to play well. Get them to fear for their life and then we actually may get something at the game. Taylor Moore has picked up a yellow card. Not good for him. 22 minutes to go now. Do we make another sub? How many subs have we got left? I think we've got two subs left. Benny apparently has done everything he can. You know what? We'll bring on Harry Chapman's not on a great game. Ben Woodburn's having a poor game. <sighs> I don't know. I bet Chapman's more tired. So we'll bring on Charleston King. Uh, again, bringing him on is probably not going to help much. And... Ryan Thompson. I, I can't really bring Ryan Thompson on because I just don't want to leave him in the middle of the field by himself, you know. So we'll we'll bring on Michael. We'll, Taylor Moore's on a yellow. We'll we'll take off Taylor Moore, and we'll put Michael Smith in the middle of the field, and that should do that. Because Jimmy Brandon wants more game time. Bring him on for eighteen minutes. Hopefully that keeps him happy. But ah, uh, yeah. I mean, what we want is a way. I thought I could have swore I changed this. Why are we still on fucking cautious? Have we just been screwed? Have we potentially... Oh my God, why are we... I don't get that. I changed that at half time. Can someone explain to me why we haven't... I don't understand, man. I definitely changed that at half time. No wonder we've been so shit. We've been toothless. Like an 80-year-old man we, with his falsers in. We've had nothing to gnash on in the second half. And with 12 minutes to go, is there enough time for us to get back into the game? Probably not. It's been a very disappointing performance in Serbia. Uh, Senate, I've went 3-1 up now. Dries and Martins with a goal. 
That puts Senate top of the Group E table. Uh, Red Star still getting shots away. So 11 shots to 4 at the moment with 5 minutes to go. Is there anything left for us to do in this match? Is there one last chance? Suter is launched up. Woodburn has had a goal, but it's not really resulted in anything. And I think we are done for here, guys. Even if we got a goal now, surely it would be nothing more than just a consolation. Adam Lilich has uh, got Astana back in it. It's now 3-2 in that game. I think the last thing we want is Astana to pick up a point. That would probably be a disaster result for us. We want Senate to probably beat Red Star and Astana in all four games. It's Glelich now. It's whipped into the back post. It's headed towards goal. And it is close, but not close enough. That one will go wide. It will go out. Craig Gordon will take the goal kick. He's launched it up. And it's Bayako and it's Falco again. And it's another chance here for Red Star Belgrade. Crossed into the back post. Malinkovic is there. Whips it in. It's headed away by Benny. Presley now. It's Presley. Launches it up. And oh, that is poor. That is very poor, man. Gillich now coming forward again. Uh, this is this is tough to take, man. Tough to take. And it looks like Kingsley is giving away a free kick. I mean, the referee should have just blown the whistle there, surely. I really don't think there's any need to keep adding this time on. And it's through into the hands of Craig Gordon. He'll catch that, no problem. But that will do it then, guys. The referee here, surely... We'll blow the full-time whistle. He has blown the full-time whistle, and it is a disappointing defeat. It is 2-0 in Serbia. I'm going to thrash the arms. We weren't good enough. and I don't have, Yeah, we weren't good enough. We were really poor today, and I can just hope that we can... I don't know. We need to get a better performance. And the, ne the next game is pretty much win or bust. We're taking on Astana, and we, we need to win that and bounce back. But we haven't won this one, guys. We haven't even drawn this one. We've lost it. In the end, Senate won by four goals to two. At least Astana put up a bit of a fight in that game and got some goals. We were we were terrible. There was no fight in our team. And it's a concerning run of results now. The draw against Dundee 0 0 wasn't great. And then that match there, 2 0 away from home. Again, it was far from great. It wasn't even far from great. It was far from good. It was far from decent. Pretty much mediocre. That's how we'll sum it up. So we, we need we need something. I don't know what we need. Uh, we've got Inverness up next. You, you, that has to be a win. That just has to be a win, guys. Inverness, you feel like we have to go there and collect all three points. So uh, next episode, we've got two away games in the Cinch Premiership against Inverness and Mullerwell and a home game at Tynecastle against uh, Astana in the Europa League. In my opinion, we need to win all three of them. We need to win the two league games to get, climb up the table and we need to win the home game in the Europa League if we're going to give ourselves any chance, realistically of getting out of that group anyway guys that's going to do it thanks for watching it's been the hearts football manager career mode leave a like leave a comment all that good stuff down below share the video it helps massively and until next time I've been some scotland 90 thanks for watching and peace and i'll try and get a better result next time again apologies for this it fucking sucked i know it sucked it hasn't been great but i, I still got faith we can turn it around guys till next time peace